Dear engineers, producers and sound enthusiasts, today I'm going to show you a very special plugin, the Fraunhofer Pro Codec plugin by UK-based plugin specialist Sonox. I am sure that many of you will already have noticed the phenomenon that any kind of audio processing may cause a peak level increase. This is especially true for all kinds of data reduction such as MP3 and AAC, but EQing belongs to this category too. This level changes can lead unfortunately to noticeable and unpleasant distortion in many cases. Particularly data compression is known to lead to a strong level increase under certain conditions. It is the aim of the Fraunhofer Pro codec to supply an intuitive tool to get this under control with ease. If you want to learn how to create first-class distortion-free MP3 and AAC files, and if you want to extend your service portfolio by a new point, you are right at the perfect spot here. Just watch on. First, I'm going one step backwards to theory, which is actually explained in more detail within my 3-hour R128 and BS1770 loudness normalization and metering video. This video is actually a must-have for everybody working with digital audio. But here are the basics. Why the heck leads an audio processing which actually takes portions of the audio away to a peak increase? This is illogical, right? But as soon we have a look on the details, it becomes simple. The waveform of a stereo master represents the sum and difference of all sonic events at a certain time. To simplify that thought, a deep bass sine note will be represented by a long wave, while a very high sound is represented by the tiny variations here carried within the long wave. The more instruments and events we sum up, the more complex becomes the wave image. If you now take something away, let's say sub-bass by applying a low-cut filter, the whole adding and subtraction process starts from scratch and therefore we will have a higher total at some spots and a lower total at other spots. But, and this is factual, the highest peaks raise while the average or RMS goes down if you have taken something away like it is the case with low cutting or applying data compression. In the case of data compression we have an interesting observation. The stronger the data compression or in other words the smaller the destination file size the higher the level increase of the mp3 or AAC file. This tendency increases even more the louder the source file comes along. In other words, louder tracks are more critical than dynamic tracks. If we for example take a relatively dynamic jazz song, we have possibly a level increase of up to 1 dB, while a Metallica-like hot sausage can cause a far higher level increase of a few dB, depending on the chosen codec algorithm. Tests have proven a maximum possible peak level increase of up to 6 dB. That's quite a lot. Here I play a Pat Metheny song. It's from 1997. It is amazing how loud it is considered that we talk about jazz and the release was before 2000. Today I actually perceive the album as kind of hyper-compressed and stressing and a measurement with my TT dynamic range meter confirms DR7, which is indeed too compressed. However, the Sonox plugin confirms promptly that we have to reduce the level by more than 1 dB. To give you another example, I now play a song from the Bad Boy album Death Magnetic and the plugin suggests an even higher gain reduction as expected. That is no wonder with such a low dynamic range of DR3. Please understand that I can't let you listen to these tracks as this would harm legal copyrights. By the way, it is very impressive and clear to observe that the potential level increase gets bigger the more lossy the codec is, if you just look on these values here. 
Yes, another strong argument to take this so-called underread seriously. iTunes comes now up with a premium quality label called Mastered for iTunes. Again, Apple shows the stiff and helpless music industry the way back to quality matters instead of beating distorted, overcompressed music into the brains of the listeners, which seems to be no success model yet. Now let's have a look under the hood of the Fraunhofer plugin. The Fraunhofer Pro codec is a real-time monitoring tool to compare uncompressed audio with different kinds of compressed formats with automatic level compensation, everything in real time. The plugin will be inserted usually at the last insert in the master bus, right after dithering. The very special thing about the plugin is that we have for the very first time the possibility to make A-B comparisons between PCM and different compression algorithms in real time. In order to do so, we have a choice of different tools. Here in this area, you can see a simple tool which helps to make a real A-B comparison because you have this hide button here. Pressing this button hides the before made choice of the A and the B source so that you can do a blind test without subjective pre-emphasis. During the master seminars of the Mastering Academy, we love to make blind tests with our small groups of up to six students, which is a lot of fun and often pretty revealing. Anticipation on the result of the comparison can have a strong impact on what we think we hear. This is because we hear with our brain and not with our ears. To give you an example, if we compare the result of a 10,000 euro external analog EQ with a freeware EQ plugin, we expect the external gear to sound better and therefore we will percept it actually sounding better as long as we do not make a fair blind test. A further scientifically more advanced alternative to the AB test is the ABX test. To activate this function, we have to go to the options menu right here. Now you can see that this tab here changed the name from AB to ABX. ABX introduces a third unknown sample, which is either A or B. You will run about 20 cycles where you judge whether X is A or B by pressing the referring button. After each vote, the order of the played examples will change randomly. At the end, you press the button Reveal and you can see if you were able to match X correctly in percent. Scientifically, it is accepted that you were unable to match X correctly if you have a result worse than 95% because randomly correct guesses can make the result imprecise anyway. In other words, if the result is lower than 95%, you don't need to worry about a loss of perceptual sound quality between A and B. If you are able to identify X with 100%, you can clearly hear a difference between A and B and can take action. Either change the algorithm for a better result if you can, or apply EQ changes to the original so that the result is compensated if you really need such a strong data reduction. By the way, this ABX procedure was introduced by the Fraunhofer Institute during the research and development of different MP3 codecs. For those of you who think this is just scientific playground, I can show a few more substantial features of the Pro Codec plugin. On this true peak meter, the potential overs are revealed, which will occur through the encoding process, as we have seen at the beginning. This is a real gem. By now it was required to encode into the destination format and then decode back to PCM in order to be able to measure the peak levels. This is now possible in real time. Here in this window called max db, you can see the values in db which should be applied as gain reduction before encoding takes place so that your data reduced file is free from unwanted overs. A simple drag and drop pulls the max db value over to the trim db window. If subsequently another higher over pops up, despite the before applied 
gain reduction, it will be displayed again in this window and you simply need to drag it over again and the value will be elegantly added to the former value. Very handy. By the way, it is important to know that the plugin applies a discrete listening gain compensation in the background, which does not affect the rendered files, but serves as a very useful tool to be able to make instant comparisons between original and different codecs at the same listening level. This way, your hearing can focus on the sole changes of the audio quality and not on the level-dependent subjective changes. In this codec list area you can choose and adjust up to five different codecs at the same time and compare the results with this monitor knob. With just a few drag and drops you can apply conveniently the required gain correction. This is one of the commercial core values of the plugin for me. As a busy engineer you want to save time when you create a level and sound optimized mp3 or AAC file for your customer. A further valuable commercial benefit is that you have a tool to find the best possible codec for a particular situation and if required you can apply EQ changes before encoding to compensate a loss of highs for example. This could be the case if your customer needs a very small file size for mobile streaming purpose so that the codec degrades the sound quality on the frequency domain. In this case you have a supporting green indication line in the FFT display which warns you in case of the risk of potential changes, changes in the frequency domain of the currently chosen codec. The green line turns red when you run the risk that the codec applies audible changes in the frequency domain. Kind of fool safe and a new business opportunity too. Coming to an end I will rush quickly over the most important buttons. Master In switches the plugin into the signal path. The button Codec Diff means difference toggles between the codec signal which is currently chosen with use of this monitor button here and the difference between the original and the codec. Or in other words the amount of sound you will take away by applying the current codec. By the way here you see the self-explaining monitor section. It allows you to pick the codec you are going to hear. If you now hear the difference of a common 128 kilobit codec for the first time you will be really shocked. Here is a sample. On the other hand, one must admit that masking effect-based data compression works unbelievably well and it can fool the human hearing to a high degree. If you take away the negative pre-emphasis of a mastering golden ear guy and use the ABX function, you will recognize that it is possible to apply data reduction up to a certain point without being noticeable. Actually, the algorithms perform better than their reputation. But this depends pretty much on the source material and as soon you feed the codecs with real strings or you exceed a certain degree of data compression ratio, it becomes noticeable. To finalize this excursion I quickly show you this useful tab here called Comp. 
it shows you the data reduction ratio of the different codecs. In case of nonlinear codecs, you will recognize a little asterisk here, which indicates that the ratio value is a rough estimation as the plugin can't forecast the source material which will be fed in. This here is the codec setting window to give you just a quick impression. The button ARM makes the codec hot. In other words, armed codec slots are ready to be recorded as soon the record button is activated here. The record function interacts intelligently with start and stop of the host DAW. The files will be stored into a predefined folder in real time. But this is not enough. Here we have two other main slides. One is called encoding, the other decoding. Pretty much self-explaining. It allows you offline encoding and decoding. This could be helpful if you quickly want to integrate data compressed files into your DAW project, for example. The FFT display finally comes with a number of valuable functions which are too manifold to be explained here in detail. The Sonox guys have done a very great job with this outstanding plugin. I guess that the reason why it took so long to fill this gap in the landscape of useful plugins is that it was a real challenge to realize such a project and embed such functionality in a useful manner into a plugin. Just consider the tasks with a variety of formats, sample rates, level corrections, latency compensation and other issues. I can imagine that other companies simply haven't had the courage to realize such a project successfully. Respect. I recommend this tool to each seriously working mastering and audio studio. It is kind of essential as long data reduced formats are part of our commercial audio world. We discuss a lot of such things much more in depth within the master seminars of the Mastering Academy. Critical listening sessions make a lot of fun, especially in these small groups and lead to very interesting conclusions and findings. By the way, Mastering Academy students get 50% off on all Sonox plugins and a wide range of other soft and hardware, such as Algorithmics and Steinberg. If you want to invest into your knowledge in a very smart way, combine the master seminar with a subsequent investment into a few indispensable mastering tools and the rebate covers the whole seminar investment pretty fast. I hope I was able to infect you with the virus of beautiful sound following the audio technology slogan knowledge for a better sound. See you soon, your Friedemann Tischmeier. Bye bye.